Okay guys, this is a very simple video and it tries to answer the question, is it possible for a team of 15 guys to behave tactically in a public match where there's no plan and no commander? And my contention is that it's possible, but you have to have your wits about you and you have to be watching for an opportunity to strike. And this is an example of a battle where the team that lost could, in my opinion, they could easily have won the game if they had recognized the moment uh, when the opportunity was available. Now, if you guys know anything about military history, uh, you'll know that Napoleon was famous uh, for many things. But one of, one of the things tactically that he was most famous for was uh, the strategy of the central position. And my contention is that in this battle... Uh, our team spread out way too much and we were very vulnerable. The enemy team occupied essentially the equivalent of the central position and they had an opportunity to uh, strike us heavily on one flank and put us in a position where we would not have been able to recover the game. And they only had maybe 90 seconds to do this and uh, the opportunity was missed. Uh, they spread out, they did not behave tactically, and we managed to win. So I'm going to advance this game uh, to the critical point, what I think is the critical point. So uh, this uh, game is being uh, viewed from the perspective of my platoon mate, KZ Bay. Uh, I'm in the Batch Hat 12T, and uh, along with us in our platoon, the only platoon on this team, is Soviet there in his awesome SU-14-2. And uh, when I talk about acting tactically, uh, that's one of the reasons for platooning. Because three guys might be able to drag the whole team into doing the right thing. Uh, you know, it's not going to happen every time, but if you're not platooned, uh, your chances of executing that are, you know, uh, poor or nil. So away we go. And you'll see that I'm aggressively spotting right away here. And uh, I've been doing it this way on this map for, for the longest time because I can duck down. And you'll see, uh, there's the scout medal right there if we win the game. There's nine guys lit up. And I'm heading back. And I was, I was spotted. And, uh, you know, I want people covering me. So Soviet and KZ Bay are going to help me potentially if I get into trouble, right? And, okay, so... Uh, look at our tier 10, one of only three tier 10s on our team. He is rolling the dice and he's being very aggressive. Uh, you know, if this was Clan Wars or a tank company or uh, a stronghold, you know, he, he might not do that. But it is a possibility that he is counting on the fact that the enemy will not react appropriately. So I'm just going to fast forward this. And see, I'm supporting him right away because, I, you know, I, I knew immediately we could be in big trouble but it never happened so I'm going up there to spot aggressively and look at that 907 he's already being hit look at that right medium tank superior guns there he just got hit for a third time okay and I guess this is the stage to, uh, to point out uh, that in my opinion like I said this group occupies the central position. Our force here could easily be wiped out. Look at all the heavies, right? They don't have far to go. And if they act aggressively, this, this force of ours, way over on the other flank, will not be able to uh, intervene in time. And I'm not saying it's going to be a wipeout, but uh, it could be the difference between a victory and defeat. You know, they might have three guys left at the end, three or four. But... Uh, they can't defend both flanks. You know, this is one of the rules of, uh, of tactics is the, the difference between scattering and, and being concentrated. When you're concentrated, you have more options, right? And the flanks are in contact with one another. Now, the Batch Hat went up here uh, to scout the hill. You know, I don't do that anymore. Uh, you know, all I do is, is reconnaissance. And uh, once once my crew and, and the tank and this, the... Uh, the camo is, is fully worked up. You work this area on this map. So I'm just going to fast forward it here. And you'll see I'm, I'm behaving very aggressively. And I want to I point out a little tactical thing. Okay, I just got stunned there. And I'm visible. So 
whenever that happens, you disengage. So watch me drive away from them, let the lights go out before I go back, right? And I'm headed to the notch, what I consider to be a sort of a famous thing, right? There's a notch on each side. There's one there, and there's another one over here. It's fair to both teams. And the enemy, as you can see, uh, remember I said there were 90 seconds. They didn't react, and it's probably too late. So can that can you know can 15 guys act tactically? I sure hope so. And you know I, I'm living proof of that. Uh, you know I've won a lot of games uh, doing it that, that way. Now I'll just uh, you know I'll, I'll just end it right here. Uh, you know the enemy uh, didn't didn't react appropriately. Um, I ended up with 5,300 spotting damage. Casey Bay had a good battle too, and Soviet, of course, was there as our ace in the hole. You know, if we get into trouble, uh, you know, I've said it in just about half, I don't know, half my videos. Platoon with Artie. If you're in a light tank, platoon with Artie, platoon with Artie. You got to do it, guys, because uh, if you don't do it, many things that you might want to do in the battle to help the team are not available to you because of lack of coordination. Anyways, it's game over, and uh, the central position uh, didn't exercise its magic in this fight and the enemy could have won but they didn't and it's game over thanks for watching